Hello and welcome to informational video number seven on the control pad repair and calibration. This is the help repair sheet that I talked about. Let's try and get low. Key in on some of the details here. This is an unpopulated sheet. Top left, Rage 2 car cam drift test, right stick axis 2, which would be look left and right, look L and R. Then you've got the LR little uh, screwdriver rotational indicators there, arrows left and right, plus and minus to sway you left and right on your axis so you can at a glance look and see which way you've got to go with your screwdriver because I often forget. Uh, da, 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 da. this was like a, a yes no um, drift test but this was based on old worn out potentiometer sides so the wipers uh, contacts and wipers as you can see yes no's yes no's and no's down at dot o four three one four for your dead spot axis and then axis three which is look up and down it, it changes because you've got, right, let's transfer over to here, old potentiometers cause more drift than new ones at the same values, question mark. Cross axis cumulative axis two through three, which would be those two axis. Uh, then I did a, a short study on the ideal sort of low range, which was 04314. Four by, I, I totaled it up, I don't know why. And then I, uh, I got a bit confused and put an unconfirmed axial dead zone. So what that means, axial dead zone, is if you're moving left to right, it will deaden the up-down movement in certain games. But it's not always depicted in your control calibration options. So you don't know whether or not it exists in games. There's lots of things that you don't know about the game you're playing. <clears throat> um, right, just in the centre here. Battle... That is Battlefield 1, axis 0, so that's left and right, move left and right, left stick. Dead spot, tested, uh, 05882, it comes out about 6% on Battlefield 1 for your dead spot um, setting. And axis 1, move forward and backwards, it's 06667, that comes out about the same, 6%, but really that is closer to 7%, but... It's, it's not set in stone what have we got on here and that was the rage 2 ideals based on that assumption over there which it doesn't really have to be anything below 04314 it just needs to be a new one combined single axis I don't know why I did it together some of the information is like old now but for the sake of right what was it oh yeah the left stick the battlefield one tank mission used through i use sorry through mud and blood steel on steel number four push through to cambrai left stick tolerances that was working out that because you're sitting in the uh sitting in the tank and it's very twitchy if you've got a dodgy analog stick that hasn't been uh, dead spot calibrated your tank will move on its own on this screen. So, and this was just a, right, let me see where we got here, control pad. Let's pick up that. I've got gray. I replaced all four of the green pot sides with my, the gray ones in here. The white ones are for a PS5, I believe. The grey ones, and you've got your black, uh, your motor wire depriction at the top there when I was first sort of sussing out this sheet for motor wire locations. You can draw a little line to it so you don't get confused. And the same with like the Xbox as an extra trigger. I did a little bit of work on Xboxes, so that ended up on there. <clears throat> All the duff ones I've ripped out. Right, the grey ones are sold as 10Ks uh, and they had a meter reading on the sales page as 10.24 ohms resistance as sold. So I was lucky there having the higher resistance that I can then put trim pots on 
Let's have a look at some of the trim pots we got. Trim pots, there's some of the ones I ripped back off. They were the one millions I tried the other day. Little three by three millimeter trim pots, uh, 500 Ks. Some of them in there that we've got abandoned. And then do 50 Ks are the ones I'm currently using in this control pad, which I will now right, turn it over, try and get it in the shot in the position that makes sense. Right, axis two. Look left and right. Well, that will be that one there because that's the right stick because I've turned the control pad over. So you look at your rotation of screwdriver angle um, indicator and you turn the app on your phone, which is... Doo -doo -doo, that's not the app. Um, Gamepad-tester.com. Dead spot to, to get your dead spot max values. And then you can write them in on your unpopulated sheet for each... And then you can remedy it when you take your pad apart and solder in all your bits and bobs. And then you have your little trim pots and these have all been calibrated. And that little square of yellow sheeting you can see there is heat proof captain tape. 12 millimeter in width is suitable for the width of that bay. So that's your control pad. Let's put that down for now, I think. Um, yeah, and I spray GT85 lubricant spray in there, which is a, an electrical contact cleaner. And it's also got PTFE in it, which is extremely um, slippery, an extremely slippery substance. So if there is any mechanical stick in your pots, you've got to test them as well. If you've got grinding and whatever you then you probably need to replace the whole pot, not just the sides. Let's put that down. Uh, some of the tools. Solder sucker, your solder wire, and your tinned copper wire for your making your parallel bridged connection. That's 0.2 millimeters, I believe. All my little screws in there. Some of the prying screwdrivers. Oh, and that there. Is a very flat, small, it's a flat tip, small screwdriver. I just use that to rotate the, the trim pots because it fits in the cross drive. Can't really get a, a cross drive that will fit in there properly. You don't, you can't use a Phillips or anything like that. <clears throat> and then wire snips and some Gerber dimes they are just for pulling ribbon cables like for the touchpad uh, some tweezers for holding the trim pots on the board when you offer them up to the center pin for soldering in and I've not, as I said I've not used these PS5 2k freeze but they come up as 2.04 as sold on the site And that is, that is all to be said for, yeah, as you can see, I put right stick R in the middle, left stick in the middle of that one. So when you're reading off your axis numbers on your phone screen or your PC screen, it's easier to understand what you're doing. And I've put the, the full playlist is on the bottom of the sheet. So moving on from that, get rid of that. That was the unpopulated. <coughs> Now this was the first attempt, oh wow the pencil's not really coming up too good there is it? But you just write in what your control pad is, the colour, the version, generation, the PCB circuit board number and then you note it with cleaned retest. Right, this was this was the first test sheet I did on the control pad, sorry, come on focus. Before I Decided to strip them out. So this was the initial factory test of the worn out side potentiometers. And I, I wrote down there the split and what they were when I cleaned them. And you've got to make sure you don't leave residual fluids inside them because that will bridge with a, a globule of moisture and it'll mess up the circuit. 
so you've got to dry it out once you've once you've sprayed the center of the the potentiometer you can't just leave it because all of that moisture will leak into the sides you have to peel them down and clean them then with a cotton bud and dry them out and that is uh, and the C on there that was when it was clean value so we'll get rid of that one because that is extremely confusing I'm going to rub that out and use it for something else all right and then this was the final final one I've just completed Sony PS4 DualShock 4 come on focus DualShock 4 black version 2 gen 5.5 there's a question mark there because I don't know because it's 055 JDM-055 and the product code 09cc that is what comes up on the app i'd only just noticed it so you can recognize what pad you're looking at every time it connects to your your app or, or to the the web page sorry uh, i've cleaned it pot sides replaced 10.24k ohms resistance and 50k trim pots fitted and it's all being calibrated and that was the end result maximum size of the dead spots in every axis position came out really quite well <clears throat> and that is it that is the reveal now I've got to put all this back together again happy joy joy but it works yeah so I got the one millions the 500s and the 50s and there is on the web page you can get 100k and 200k resistance potentiometers Sorry, trim pots, not potentiometers. The potentiometers are the primary pots, which is those. Oh, trim pots are these little free by freeze. It's so hard to keep my lingo correct. Thank you for watching. Hope that helps you out. And hold on. I'll just at the end here, I'll have a close up at this sheet as steady as I can. So if anyone needs to copy it, <coughs> Oh, right, let me get it into that should do isn't it you can zoom in on your phone pause it whatever you want to do thanks for watching and happy repairing